All right? And once you really understand the notation, guys, this really isn't that bad. But this means h of g of x. And if you guys, again, follow my rules of composition, then what you would see, Kyle, is this is the same thing as h of g of x. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to plug the g of x function into the h of x function. Well, now, instead of an x, our input value is negative 5. So therefore, Ryan, what we're simply going to do is the same thing, but instead of g of x, it's going to be g of negative 5. So that's all you're simply doing. Now, we can expedite this process is if we know what g of x is, can we figure out what g of negative 5 is? Yes. Of course we can. So if I say g of x is x over 5, can I figure out what g of negative 5 is? Yes. Negative 5 over 5. So therefore, g of negative 5 is equal to negative 1. Is everybody OK with that? So do you guys agree g of negative 5 is equal to negative 1? So in reality, all I simply need to do is I can replace negative 1 for g of negative 5. So therefore, this is really h of negative 1. Hmm. That's a good seat for somebody. So now we have h of negative 1. Can I now plug negative 1 in for x? For h, of course you can. Negative 1 squared is 1. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 9 is 7. And done. Is that? It's just a step by step process. process. Chris, that's, did you do your homework? So did you write down the answer to my problem? Yeah. No, this problem. Oh, well, that, problem. Okay. that would be the issue that we'd have.